This is the third video for interference of light. This is related to the previous video where we were talking about interference of light. However, this one we're talking about interference from two sources. The syllabus requires you to um, perform a drawing and add uh, the superposition of two sources, explain the difference in the amplitudes uh, from constructive and destructive, and identify the path difference uh, when we've got two waves at a certain location. So we're going to consider two sources that are monochromatic uh, that are in phase. So remember that means they have the same frequency and they emit crests and troughs at the same time. Now this line MP in our drawing here, uh, that represents a perpendicular bisector with the bisector being this line uh, at this point and perpendicular meaning right angles there. Okay, so that means every point along this line MP is equal distance from both S1 and S2. Now that line MP being equal distance from both points means that crests and troughs will arrive at exactly the same time along this point, uh, along any point on this line. So that means that we've got constructive in interference of maximum amplitude at the line MP. Now if we consider a point Q that is not along this line, um, the waves actually travel with different distances from the sources to get to point Q. So you can see this line S1 to Q is shorter than the line S2 to Q. So this means that there's a path difference. Um, a crest from S1 that is uh, left from the source uh, leaves the same time from S2, but because they require different distances to get to Q, they're not going to arrive at the same time, meaning there's going to be some sort of uh, difference, path phase difference um, at arrival at Q. Now if the difference from say S2 which is here to Q is actually one wave length longer than S1 to Q then crests will arrive at the same time um, meaning constructive interference at Q. Now it will be one phase out however you still get a crest at the same time as another crest at point Q. Now if this distance that S2 travels is two wavelengths further, you still get a crest arriving at Q the same time as a crest from S1, uh, meaning it is also constructive. However, what, what we're also interested in is when there's a, a phase difference of half a wavelength or 180 degrees. This is when uh, you get a crest from S1, for example, and a trough from S2, meaning there's destructive interference and if it's exactly half a wavelength out, we will not actually see any light at Q2, being that the superposition is on the, on the zero. If we look at this from a mathematical point of view, uh, we get constructive interference at any point when the superposition and the difference between the uh, paths from the sources is m lambda, where m is an integer and lambda is the wavelength. This means that and being an, uh, an integer, um, that the wavelength uh, difference between the two sources is a whole wavelength or a multiple of a whole wavelength. Now with constructive interference, we're looking at when the uh, waves are out of phase, um, 180 degrees out of phase, meaning that the path difference is m plus a half lambda. So you can see that by the equation on the bottom. Right, this slide might seem complicated, but let's just run through it step by step. So we've got two sources, S1 and S2, and they're emitting light. Now the light is monochromatic and in phase, meaning the same wavelength. And when S1 emits a crest, so does S2. So that's why you can see the concentric circles that are emitting from each are the same. Now we've got dotted circles here and here, and they represent uh, troughs. Then we've got the solid circles here and here. They represent uh, the crests. Now you can see if we look, say, up at the top of our diagram, we've got a, a crest emitting from S1 and a crest emitting from S2. Now the point A0 is where they meet. And when a crest and a crest get together, that's uh, constructive interference and you get a larger uh, value. So this line along here going down is all constructive interference. And you can see as well, with this trough and this trough, when they meet at this point here, 
that's also constructive interference and that lines up with the um, the line A0, B0 uh, which is all constructive interference. Now when we've got um, destructive interference it's when a crest and a trough meet for example. So let's look at this crest up here that we're looking before. So this is emanating from S2 and it meets with a trough from S1 which is at point P1 and you can see this that dotted line that goes down here is destructive interference. Now if it's destructive, perfectly destructive with a crest and a trough, we won't actually see light here if we had a light sensor or our eyes. Uh, 